On a serious note, though, I went to the doctors today. Like, I'll just talk seriously for a minute. I went to the doctors today. Tom wasn't feeling well, and to be honest, he didn't really want to. Didn't really want to uh, deal with me, so he just literally said, "Go to the pharmacy, and they'll help you out." So I went in the pharmacy, and all they gave me was a bunch of tablets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm too funny. I'm too funny. What happens when I plug a charger into it? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, very odd. Right, let me just connect up um, this controller to Bluetooth on the computer. Okay, sync button don't seem to be working. Right, now it's working. Right. It's not detecting the controller. Today's video is brought to you by my own online store. Whether you need HDMI ports or charging chips, you'll probably find it a console fix. We sell disk drives and power supplies. Just trust me, bro. I tell no lies. If you need stuff, just check the store, because I'll probably find one on my workshop floor. I've got parts to get you going, and I already know. This ad, it's mind-blowing. So get your wallet out. Don't be a dick. Just spend your money. A console fix. All right, I'll stop rhyming now. Console fix! Yeah, I think that's going to be one of the main chips, but I don't think I have any. That's the problem. Can you reset it? No, it's just not... Well, the sync button's barely working. Like, it's working sometimes, but then other times it's not. When it does work, it's not picking up through Bluetooth anyway. I mean, I can open it and just see if there's an issue with the, uh, the button. I can do that. Just see if it's an issue with the button. But I reckon it's probably going to be the main chip. Try AA batteries. Uh, I haven't got any to hand, to be honest. See, I can take out... I can take my own controller. Because I've got a 1708 controller, which I don't really use. So I could take my own controller, swap the boards out and isolate what board the fault's on. Um, you know, just by swapping boards and figure out what board it's on. But even then, I haven't got the spare parts for them. This is why I don't work on them, because I haven't got spare parts for controllers. Someone's booked this in, and because there's nothing, no option for controllers on the website, they've booked it in as Xbox. I don't really want to send it back to him without at least having a look, but yeah. Lee from Uber Micro Repairs taught me how to get into these earlier. Definitely check him out guys if you want to see an actual professional doing controllers. He is definitely the controller expert. If you've got any controllers, don't send them to me. Send them to Lee. Because I don't like working on them. Lee loves it, especially scuff controllers. So if you've got any scuff controllers, well, I've got stick drift or button issues, power issues. Lee loves working on stick drift, on uh, scuff controllers. He absolutely loves it. Right, we've got plastic falling out of the front of this. Has this been dropped? Because there's plastic falling out the front of it. Okay, this has been opened before. Something random there. Yeah, some random pube there or something, I don't know. Uh, the solder's not factory solder on the uh, analogs. Oh, sorry, on the rumbles. Uh, not really seen any other work that's been done to it. I think someone's just opened this up and maybe took the board out at some point. I don't know. Uh, what the hell is inside here? What the hell is that? I honestly have no idea. It looks like fingernails, yeah. It's definitely not mine because I ain't got any. So someone's definitely been inside here. But there was plastic falling out of the uh, the back of it as well. So uh, the front of it, sorry. So, yeah, it looks like someone's broke a fingernail. <laughs> Let's just make sure the switch is actually working. Yeah. So when I probe the switch and press down on it. Yeah, the switch is working absolutely fine. 
So it's nothing to do with that tactile switch, why this isn't syncing, or rather it isn't going into sync mode. Let's just have a scan of the boards first before I do anything else. Oh, hello. Hiya. Here we are. Yeah, we got some liquid damage. Uh, so it looks like... It looks like we got some renewals, that's what it looks like. Yeah, so we've got some liquid damage here. Um, R4, C37 and EG2. Uh, so they're liquid damaged. Nothing else there. Right, where is that directly below? It's directly below this chip here. So what is this chip? QL16A, U4. Does anyone know what that chip is? Yeah, I've got a feeling that it's something to do with this chip because of the liquid damage on the other side. Uh, it is Sorry about the hiccups. It is directly below it on the other side, so... Uh, let's just carry on inspecting the boards for now. The problem is, like I said, I don't have spares at all, so... I'm a little bit screwed. I might just end up having to change that entire board. Well, I could actually just um, remove some components from a board that I've got lying around just to prove the fault, maybe. I don't know. Uh, that could be an option. You know, just for the, just for the proof of finding the fault and determining what caused it I could potentially just take the components off um, and then you know get some donor boards to fix my own controller at a later date yeah I'm not seeing anything else on here um, that's literally all I'm coming across is that little bit of liquid damage so could be a battery management chip I'm not sure mate uh, so the problem is it's not connecting to uh, it, when I press the sync button it's very intermittent um, we've got a little bit of liquid damage here, but that's literally all I'm finding. Um, we've got a resistor. I'm assuming that resistor is going to be bad. I mean, I can reflow that lot and just... Um, it might not actually be bad. It might just be the fact that it's not making a good contact because of the corrosion. So uh, what I'm going to do, I am going to drop my airflow down to 380 degrees Celsius. Uh, sorry, my hot air down to 380 degrees Celsius because, I mean, this is a very thin board. Has it been an ultrasonic cleaner? No, I don't think so. I'm going to drop my airflow down as well to 10%. I'm just going to reflow these components. It will get rid of the compo uh, the corrosion and it should sort out any solder joints as well. Let's bring my airflow up to 20% now. Just want to get rid of that corrosion. Because the components are probably good. It's only, you know, one capacitor, a resistor, and a... F is it filter, EJ, I think? I don't know. Um, there shouldn't be any reason why they'd blow. Not just for a little bit of corrosion. But 
but the corrosion would potentially stop it from making a contact so Right, let's see if I can test that resistor. This all seems to be connected together. I'm getting zero ohms, so is that just a link? I'm getting 10 million ohms on the capacitor, so that's not short. And that one's showing up as uh, zero ohms as well. Yeah, so this, the components seem fine. Let's give it a quick test, see if it was as simple as just a little bit of corrosion. This has definitely been dropped as well, by the way, because it's got a, a pretty deep scratch in the corner look so it's definitely been dropped but oh well right still on oh there we go took a little while to register does that pick up on bluetooth though but that is picking up um, that is attempting to sync. Let's just have a look if it picks up on the computer. Xbox wireless controller, there we go. Kaboom. A little bit of corrosion. Nice. Game controller tester. Yep, let's just test, test the vibrations. Yep, that's uh, nice and smooth. Job done. Yeah, that was actually relatively straightforward. Um, just a little bit of corrosion around a uh, couple of components. Seems to be working absolutely fine now. Let's just... Uh, Yep, seems absolutely fine. It's accepting the sync button now every time. Yeah, jobs are good. Then. Happy days. Didn't even need any any uh, components. Well, that'll probably make a video. So if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, turn on the bell notifications, all of that jazz. And uh, yeah, don't send me your controllers. Send them to Uber Micro Repairs. I don't like fixing them. <laughs> so yeah, if you're watching back at the video, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.